ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is Toastmaster Peter Ng. Why we do what we do. Why we do what we do, Peter Ng. Life was like a fork before the age of five, just like the blur you saw on screen. Now that you can see me better, let me tell you what happened next. It all changed for me when I turned six years old. Well, what happened was the first tube came to my house. By saying tube, I mean the ketok ray tube. For those of you who are still too young to understand what is a ketok ray tube, you probably heard of YouTube. YouTube, incidentally, the tube is named after ketok ray tube, the television that we once watched, the big chunky machine that is the main display of the house. Now, that was 51 years ago. You may ask me, what changed? Well, you see, the box that we were looking at those days, that four by three frame, very much like this little box that you're looking at me speaking. The television televised live. When men blended on moon. Well, you could say it was blended in 1969. I don't think TV was really in Singapore yet. Yes, true, Singapore TV was launched, at, le at least for the consumer, in the 70s. We got our te television late, and it was a late telecast. To a six-year-old Chinese boy, the moon was favored to have a little deity, a princess running around, waiting for the lover with a little bunny, and every month, every, every year, in the middle of the year, we have a mid-awesome festival celebrating the favor of the moon. To have men landing on the moon, televised on TV, get me wondering, why do they do this? I mean, why do they send a man up to the moon? Are they trying to spoil the story? You know, the story that so many Chinese folks, so many Chinese boys have heard of. That got me exploring. Why do we do what we do? Fast forward to just a few weeks ago. Well, in fact, two months ago, when we all heard that uh, there is an unknown virus, a, a corona virus that was plaguing China, and uh, all of us in Singapore, we were all rushing into the supermarket and start snatching up and stocking up on food. And one of the essential items was this, the toilet roll. At first, we thought those Singaporeans that rush for toilet rolls are very funny. But later on, when we look around the world, it seems like everywhere around the world, everybody is doing the same thing. Now that got me wondering as, as well, why, why do we do those things? So is it because the one part of the world see somebody doing it and the monkey see, monkey do, the rest of the world start following? Then what about the rest of the things that they are, they're going for? Many of the items they're going for are very similar. About five years ago, I started the journey of moving into video content creation. That really helped me uncover a lot of things of, a, a lot of the reason behind why we do what we do. Then I realized this encounter when I was six years old, the encounter of seeing men landing on moon, and my mother bringing me to movies, watching other movies like King Kong, The Towering Inferno. All that leads me 
to what I'm doing today, video content creation. After the movie, after the movie King Kong, I was explained, oh, none of that is real, it's all man-made. You know, this can be done that way and that way. And I started exploring, you know, when can I create a movie of my own? When can I then create something that would impact or inspire the world to take action? So that got me started on the path of creating a short film. And this short film that I intend to create is about the plague of middle-aged folks who are displaced by technology, that the world that we're living in is filled with technology. And this technology platform brings them to, well, promise them a certain future, but soon enough, this technology platform is going to oust them and that is the premise of the story. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the plight of private for hire driver, your Uber driver, your Grab driver, the Gojek drivers, Lyft drivers, for those of you from US. Think about it. It used to be cab drivers. And then came Uber or limousine for hire. Then came Uber and the rest of the other companies as a platform offering private car owners to jump on it. And the last recession brought hundreds of thousands of drivers, at least in each country, onto this platform. Soon, in the years to come, I'm sure autonomous cars are gonna come about. And those drivers, Picture this, hundreds of thousands of drivers in each country multiplied by 200 other countries. These population, what are they going to do next? So this film is about that, why we do what we do. And since the car just turned red, I just want to remind everybody, look out for this short film as I created, I'll share the link with all of you, probably in the Singapore Online Toastmasters first. And uh, thank you for listening. Thank you.